Good morning. Wednesday, the 2nd of February it is. Uh, I had to think then. Okay, we've had some big moves this week, which I will totally admit were unexpected. On my part, uh, the dollar surged at the end of last week. I thought that was the beginning of a trend. And all those gains have been completely wiped out in as fast a time as they took to win. So, um, yeah, I, did, I just didn't see those two, the two days of strong gains being wiped out in the, next, in the first two days of this week. I have to admit it, it's quite unusual in financial markets. Um, stock markets are higher, which, again, I didn't expect. But once we had broken out above my resistance level around 44.50, well, they surged, the S&P surged, rather, to all my targets. Uh, and we're now hitting a resistance level, as you will know from my report. So we'll see what happens there. It's a 61.8. There's some moving average resistance. There's some trend line resistance there. So that is the key resistance of the day. Breaking up through 46.10 is pretty much a buy signal, and then the market can surge again. So we really are at critical level for the day. Um, NASDAQ actually looks like it, it's got a little bit of room to climb higher, not quite hitting uh, strong resistance levels yet. Germany 40 broke eventually. It took some, it took some time. The Germany 40 broke higher, testing some um, moving average resistance levels there just on the four hour chart. Quick look at the daily chart. Shows you that we're above that cluster of moving averages, the 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages. So that again actually looks quite positive. Now, uh, I wonder whether we get some sort of head and shoulders pattern here. The head can be a double top. Um, I've talked about that double top. Actually, that trend line probably should be redrawn as I look at it. Let's redraw that one. Do something like this. There we go. And then I wonder, could this be the right shoulders, right shoulder of a head and shoulders top, but the head, the head will be a double top. Anyway, that's just uh, speculating, something to look for, keep an eye out for. UK 100, absolutely all over the place. I have no idea what happens next. Very, very volatile. Uh, possible double top, who knows. WTI crude, I suggested that it would trade sideways, and that has been the case for the last three days, exactly as I had predicted. No signal to sell short yet. But I am keeping an eye out. We're very, very overbought. If we were to spike higher and then close down on the day or have a bearish engulfing candle, obviously that would act as a sell signal. So, as I say, no sell signal yet, but just I am keeping my eyes peeled in case something does develop. Certainly, we are trading sideways. We're not pushing forward, as I had suspected. So, at least that is the right call for the moment. Um, Aussie US dollar, I'm going to show you, but I've got no idea what happens next. So, Aussie dollar has now recovered 50% of those moves. I'll probably just show that on the four hour chart for you. 50% uh, recovery, straight through all the resistance levels. Didn't expect that. We've recovered almost all of those sharp losses, as I said. Um, still got my eye on the dollar yen. I've been looking at this developing into a head and shoulders pattern. I was sort of more excited about that pattern happening when we had this negative candle here. What day was that? 27th of January. Uh, a minor reversal candle, but it did warn me that. There, my suspicions of a head and shoulders pattern might play out. Well, I suggested in the report that if you wanted to sell a short position into a short position, it might be worth it. You're supposed to wait for a break of the neckline, of course. But if you did jump into a short position, you're looking pretty good because we've now had three down days follow that negative candle. And even that jump to the resistance level gave you an opportunity to get into a short position. If you're not in a short position, not a big deal. We really have to wait for a break of the neckline. Now, this will be a support level at first. So if you are short, you probably want to be covering down to 114.00, just in case it bounces off there, and it often does when it first tests the neckline to head and shoulders, a bit of a fake, and then bang through it. I don't know whether that will happen in this case, but you can see the 100-day moving average also moving up towards that trend line, so it will be a decent support level. Now, here's what could happen. Um, we could, as I say, test it, hit the, um, the, the moving average and the trend line, maybe overrun slightly, then maybe it bounce, I don't know, somewhere like, somewhere to here, and only then do we then break the neckline. Uh, that will fool a load of people, get them out of their short positions. Um, some longs might jump in, and then boom, down we go. The longs will get stopped out, and uh, that could be the start of the move to the downside. I don't know for sure. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Just a theory. We'll see if that works. As you know, gold, as you know, I've got resistance at 1800, 1805, stop above 1810. Gold got to 1808. We're not really seeing many move, much to move to the downside. It's relatively stable. So we've just got to stick with that position and see if the market does start to tumble a break above 1810. Should be pretty positive uh, looking at the four hour chart here. Yeah, that was 1808, I think, yesterday's day. High, 1808 and a half. 
So we did dip today as far as 17.94. Not enough of a profit on that trade, of course, when you've only got a five-point stop. You're not looking for a five-point profit. You're looking for at least 10. So we'll see. We're re retesting the resistance level as we speak. We'll see if that works. We'll see if the market turns down. Uh, but a break above 18.10 could be quite positive for gold going forward. So a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, what is it today? It's Wednesday today. Thursday likely to be quiet ahead of the non-farm payroll. And, of course, Friday morning will probably be dead as we wait for the release of that pretty critical number with the market so focused on um, a recovery after the COVID situation, but also strong, very strong inflation uh, leading to higher interest rates, not leading to a higher dollar, it would appear. All right, good luck today. Talk tomorrow.